Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So first of all, I would like to apologize regarding the solution of this question which I uploaded early morning today and in that question I said that the answer should have been somewhere around 29 to 30 degrees but uh, I actually did it wrong so I got to know from the comments of that video. So thank you so much for letting me know first of all but yeah. Uh, sometimes it happens that you get into the blind spot okay that's what happens and that might have happened with many of you and uh, you might have overlooked what is written okay and that happened with me as well so we were predicting the answer to be around 30 degrees right that's what we were thinking 29 to 30 degrees 29 point something was coming so i guess most of you know that this was coming as your answer now i'm not going to solve it again but yeah i'm just going to tell that this is what you guys were getting but in the question it was asked about diffraction angle and your diffraction angle uh, is actually equal to 2 theta okay what is theta then what is just theta so that is glancing angle okay so glancing angle is actually just theta so if it would have been asked about glancing angle then the answer would have been somewhere around 29 to 30 but since the answer is or they are asking about the diffraction angle so it will be twice of that and that's why the answer will be somewhere around twice of 29 point something we were getting 29.6 or something so twice of that will be like 59.2 uh, to 60 okay, so they have given the range of 59.0 to 61.0 and yes that's the correct answer okay so this answer is not correct this is correct according to the answer key right so answer key is correct in this so that is first thing which i wanted to make clear so that nobody of you should go and start uh, you know challenging the question because it was it that it has it should not be challenged right the next question which many of you have asked me is regarding radius of gyration question okay so many of you said ki sir this is also incorrect i tried to solve it but it is also correct the answer which is given to you in the answer key is again correct for this as well uh, this is question number 62 and if you look upon the answer key for 62 so for 62 the answer key says from 15.2 to 15.6 so the answer key says that 15.2 to 15.6 nanometers they have asked answer in the nanometer fine let us try to do it because i just want to show you that how this has to be done so the formula to calculate this uh, radius of gyration i guess most of you are doing it wrong in that case so this has to be equal to uh, your um, your under root n into l and divided by under root 6 okay that has to be the formula and it can be small l you can denote it by small l as well that is a better way to denote it so yeah that's the formula but what is n over here so n is basically number of bonds okay that is where most of you are doing mistakes so in polyethylene the molecule is ch2 ch2 and uh, this will go like n times right so that's number of bonds is what you have to calculate and number of bond will be equal to uh, 2 into degree of polymerization dp is degree of polymerization so that's how you will calculate the number of bonds and this will be equal to 2 times degree of polymerization is calculated as total uh, mass and divided by your uh, mass of the single monomer right so total mass is 8 4 0 and triple 0 divided by mass of a single uh, monomer is going to be 28 right so that's what it should be and if you divide this um, you are going to get let us use the calculator itself so this will be 14 times and if you divide 84 by 14 so i am using calculator here so 84 uh, divided by 14 should give me 6 okay so we know the table so it should be 6 and 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 4 0 that's what I will get as the value of n. Now I have to calculate radius of gyration. So Rg will be equal to, let's put it, so under root of this value that is 60,000 into length of the single monomer that is in nanometers only. So let's keep it in nanometer 0 0.154 and divided by the, um, the value is under root 6. Okay, so that's what I will be having. Now I can write it down in this way as well. It should be like Rg can be written as this whole thing can be written as 60,000 divided by 6, right? Both the things are in under root and 0 0.154. All this, so this will become 10,000. Under root of 10,000 will be 100. 
right and multiply it by 0 0.154 multiply it and you will get 15.4 nanometer okay that lies in the range which is given to you so that's why um, this is also a correct okay this is also correct according to the answer key so there is nothing wrong in the radius of gyration question as well answer key is correct many people are missing out this too and that's why they are making mistake okay so this is how it has to be done next one more question which many of you asked me is the uh, regarding this b10 h10 uh, h14 question now this has a clear reference from atkins from shivers and atkins there it is already given to you but still if you want me to explain it says key the correct statement regarding b10 h14 r so bronsted acidity of b10 h14 is higher than that of b5 h9 second says structurally b10 h14 is closer borane third says the metal uh, promoted fusion of b5 h8 minus produces b10 h14 and fourth says that both b10 h14 and b10 h12 set hole twice set2 hole twice have the same number of valence electrons now there is a confusion for the point number d right uh, in the answer key option a like it's a msq question it's a multiple selective type question so a c and d are given as correct and uh, they have to be correct like they are correct only because if you look upon the reaction this this thing this is a adduct actually which will be formed when uh, you are reacting okay when the reaction or in the formation of your um, like uh, when the formation of b10 h12 is being done so i'll show you the reaction right so here i am just showing you a particular reaction mechanism um, this is a very famous reaction you can find it out formation of ortho carburane okay so that is available in most of the reference books i have just taken it from internet and i am showing you so in the formation of ortho carburane what happens that b10 h14 when it reacts with se2 hole twice it gives you b10 h14 set2 hole twice and removal of two hydrogen so that means this set2 is taking the place of these two hydrogen that means this set2 is nothing but equivalent to a single hydrogen right so and later on it like see it says that your ortho carburane is formed in two steps the first step is when b10 h14 reacts with this to form an adduct and when this adduct reacts with your alkyne to give your ortho carburane so that's a different thing but what I want to say is in the structure of this particular molecule you will find out that this also has same structure what we have to take from here is when this b10 h14 reacts with set hole twice it replaces two hydrogen right and a hydrogen is a single electron donor so that's why set2 should also be a single electron donor and uh, someone commented it should be two electron donors no it is not like that we don't uh, do them like this you have to see that how much electron or in a reaction it replaces what species so depending upon that we can predict key how much electron this particular species is going to donate right so that's why so this is also correct okay b10 h uh, 12 set hole twice will have same number of skeletal electron as b10 h14 because uh, the replacement has been done for two hydrogen with set2 and that's why nothing is going to change in the total skeletal electron pair so that's why this also is correct okay this also should be correct that's why this needs to be the correct answer for this okay if you have some very strong uh, uh, like reference for this uh, you can share that in the email id provided in the description of this video also if you want to challenge the question you can go for it but i believe that uh, there are various uh, like reaction mechanisms where a formation of ortho carbon and in all of them this is getting formed into this by removing two hydrogen and that make that is making sense that it should have same number of valence electrons right and uh, that's all so all the three questions which were little dicey i have given you key they all are actually correct okay so they all are correct in the answer key according to me and uh, if there is any other question apart from these three you can let me know in the comment section we can have a discussion on that as well right so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi ogc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes 
whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much